Hello. This is a 10 inch water bucket. The potato growing in this water bucket is a potato called Charlotte. Charlotte has been growing in this water bucket for 12 weeks. Charlotte was a shop bought set aside potato. Charlotte was a fast start potato. I don't know if you can see this, but this pot, this bucket is actually split. You may be able to see that, you may not. And what split this bucket is the potatoes trying to force the way out. And I know there are potatoes in there because the bucket is actually deformed. And I can see potatoes pressing through the sides of this bucket. So we know we're going to get potatoes, we just don't know how many. But we'll know that shortly. Now what I'll do is I'll take the tops off these potatoes first and then I'll show you what's supposed, supposed to be a round top on this water bucket and you'll see how much it's been deformed. Can you see that? That's where the break is. Um, I'm not sure that you'll see where those potatoes are pushing the sides of the pot out, but they are. Uh, the soil in this pot is soil that I grew vegetables in last year. It's been part of a winter composting regime. The pot has been filled with soil that has stood over winter with a layer of chop and drop on it. Um, then it was popped back into this pot uh, earlier this year uh, and I added some Gromo fertiliser. Okay, let's see what we've got in this pot. Molly's on standby. I think you can probably see Molly. Once I mention potatoes, Molly is on standby. Okay, right. Now, what we're going to do, uh, as well as, is once we've harvested these guys, we're going to weigh them. The soil would normally go straight back into this pot, uh, and because we've got three summer months left, I'll grow something else in that soil, probably leeks or celery, and I'll probably invigorate it with something like bloodfish and bone or grow more, any of the general purpose fertilizers but because this pot split uh, this pot will be going to the recycler and I'll put that soil in another pot and we'll grow something else okay but that's not for this video this video is simply this review and a weighing can you see any well I can't see any either let's take this top off Oh, right. You're going to see some potatoes shortly. How about that? How about that? 
Ho oh, ho, how about that? How about that? How about that? Come on, there's potatoes everywhere. I'll just pop this in the back of this batter and we'll break this soil ball. Those are the potatoes that we're trying to burst out of that pot. Uh, and some small ones for Molly, look. Hold on, Molly. No, no, come round this side. You know, down there. There goes sweet that. Well, that looks like it. It isn't a lot, but they're a lovely potato, I've got to say. In fact, they're a wee bit big for the Charlotte, but hey, we're not complaining. <laughs> we're only complaining if they're too small, not if they're too big. Can't be too big, can they? Yeah, of course they can't. Right, let's see what we've got here, Malt. Let's see if we can rest them here. And it looks as though all these potatoes will make the cut. I can't see any marks on any of them, any damage. So I think uh, they'll all get eaten. And those few small ones there, look. There's no one for you, Malt. Right, let's take these indoors and we'll weigh them. Okay. Are you with me, Malt? See if I can carry these without dropping them. Come on, let's go. Go on, indoors. Come on, lass. Good girl. One of the questions I'm often asked is, when you've harvested your potatoes, should you wash them? Well, I'm not going to wash these potatoes because those potatoes are going to be eaten within a day or two. Um, they'll get washed the day we eat them. Uh, but generally how I would answer that question is this, that um, during the winter months when I don't have any potatoes, um, I buy them from our local farm. I pop these on the scales while we talk. I buy potatoes from our local farm. And he stores his potatoes in heavy duty paper sacks. And when I get them home, the potatoes still have dirt on them and the potatoes are dry. Now here's the professional and he's storing his potatoes in a cool, well ventilated barn in paper sacks and they last month after month after month after month and that's how he does it. So that's how I suggest you do it. Don't wash them, leave the dirt on them make sure they're dry, store them somewhere that's well ventilated um, and in paper bags if you've got them. I would also say uh, empty them out regularly just to check to see if there's any potatoes that have uh, taken bad ways and get rid of them and then there's no nasty surprises. Hey how about this? Look at that! Hey hey! That's a pound and a half! That's a pound and a half, uh, Molly, and the bucket that we've just taken these out of, I've already told you it's a 10-inch water bucket. It equates to about half the size of a five-gallon bucket, and I've always said um, a good return would be sufficient potatoes to accompany a meal for two. Oh, well, I think there's sufficient potatoes there to accompany a meal for two, don't you? Yeah, of course there is. Yeah, so. So we're happy with this, aren't we, Mom? We're happy with this one and a half pound of uh, lovely Charlotte potatoes. And with the next couple of days, we'll wallop those, won't we? Yes, we will. I'm always standing there, staring at me. She's, you know why she's staring at me? She's staring at me because she can't see these potatoes. If she could see these potatoes, she'd be staring at the potatoes and I'd be second best. Uh, but she's standing staring at me at the moment. Okay. So. From me and Molly at Home Grown Veg, 
This is homegrown veg, signing out.